possible. Let's take a look at a little bit of what you can do in Delphi for 64-bit, just a little uh, preview. So I'll say file new and start a VCL forms application. And we can build the, the standard starting Delphi application that's been built since Delphi 1. And this is the famous button edit box list box, and I'm using ID Insight inside the ID to bring up components in this case by typing their name. Let's, uh, let's add an event handler for the button. The event handler for the button click, uh, the first statement I'm going to take the contents of the edit box and add it to the list box. And then I'm going to also change the button caption to be the size of a pointer, converting that to a string and putting it in the caption. It's a 32-bit Windows application. Uh, it stored the text in the list box and then displayed the size of the standard pointer. Since this was 32-bit Windows, uh, it put the value 4, which was the size of the default pointer for 32-bit Windows. Now you'll notice in the project window, we still have our build configurations for debug, release, and other build configurations and option sets you might set up for your project. Here's the source code for my application and the form file. You'll notice a new node in the project window for this 64-bit, 32-bit version of Delphi called Target Platforms. And when I expand the target platforms, it says that the default project was a 32-bit Windows project. In order to add 64-bit capability to this project, I'll simply right mouse click on the target platform node and click on Add Platform. And now it shows me that my two choices are 32-bit and 64-bit Windows. So I'll add 64-bit Windows as a second target platform for my VCL project. I'll enable it by double-clicking or right mouse click and, uh, and activating it. And I'll simply hit Run, which will cause a compile and the execution. So here we go again. Click the Add button. Notice it takes the edit box, adds the text to the list box, just as it did before, and that now the caption of the button has been changed to be the size of the pointer, which is now 8 bytes, because I'm running a 64-bit Windows project. In many cases, once you have 64-bit versions of the product, your package files, your components, just add the target platform for 64-bit to your existing projects. Choose it, hit run. This is one of the demos that comes with Delphi XE uh, that does flow styles in a flow panel. And again, I have 32-bit and 64-bit target platform. So the 32-bit Windows version and the 64-bit version. And again, just with a recompile. If you're doing graphics programming, here's a, our Asteroids example from Delphi XE. Here's the 32, oh, I already died. And 64-bit version, compiles. In database world, DB Express and Interbase Express will be supported for 64-bit. In this case, I can set a, a version inside of inside of my project or data explorer and in my DBX drivers INI and DBX connections INI. And we have a, a new entry called vendor lib win64. Or in the case of Interbase, I can specify the DLL, which is the Interbase 64-bit client DLL, 
And then I also have the 32-bit version, uh, gds32.dll for 32-bit. So for database programming, it's taken care of by DB Express. For multi-tier using DataSnap, uh, building web services, web applications, again, you can just add a project node for 64-bit windows and rebuild your project. So let's take a look at uh, what is going to make your life easy as you're planning forward